Seattle narcotics officer initiated a series of texts. Commissioner Gordon got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was a dude in a trench coat putting up the Phoenix symbol. I got to quit smoking these. <laughs> so what you got for me? <laughs> so, Phoenix, as I was... I hate it when he does that. <laughs> Phoenix Jones and me. <laughs> what song is all oh. through the oh, barrio? <laughs> fighting crime and handing out sandwiches. <laughs> well, he sparked the, the most stupid ass movement. <laughs> you remember all these people want to be superheroes? Like he was the only MMA fighter? Yeah. No, nah, it's like kick ass. <laughs> yeah. He was the only MMA fighter in the group that was actually doing something, but everybody else was just dressed up like. Like the Halloween, Halloween are, are sports mascots and shit. Yeah. Or kids who couldn't afford real Halloween costumes, the mother dressed them shit, and and, and they would just go around handing sandwiches. Mm-hmm. And the police, got, they came out and said, you know, just stop this shit. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> even the, they say even the homeless don't want these nasty ass sandwiches uh, y'all passing out. When the homeless gets tired of you, yeah, that means that you you're doing a terrible job. I used to just litter everywhere from all the sandwiches that were tossed to the ground. <laughs> just shitting now everywhere. Go back and clean all this shit up. I'm sure everybody remembers the, re- the real life superhero, Phoenix Jones. Phoenix Jones was the closest thing that we had to Batman, Iron Man, and any of these other mans out here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he might be closer to, to, to Batman because he didn't have no he didn't have no powers. Right. But he could, he, you know, he he was an MMA, he's an MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. You know, he could he could he could actually beat somebody's ass if uh, if he if he needs to, and got a costume on, which makes him a legit superhero, right? <laughs> so I mean, as long as he solved some crimes or beat up some criminals, he which he did. There's a whole story about how he he saved uh, he saved an ordinary citizen who was getting carjacked or in his car getting robbed and. Phoenix Jones came in, swooped in, to save the day. Dan was calling 911, but help flew in before he finished dialing. An anonymous Seattle man strolls into this comic store, enters a hidden back room, and emerges transformed. Got his own back cave, man. Wow. You see that shit? Wow, in the back of a comic book store, too. In the back of a comic book store. And the media is complicit because they could have shown his face. <laughs> You know, it's like it's in a comic book store. It's like a it's, it's like the comic book hero jumped out the books. Right, right, right. He's the hero Dan's been trying to tell his friends about. People are saying, no way, dude. He and the other eight members walk the streets, eyes out for crime, prepared to fight it. Man, no, no vehicle. <laughs> no, nah, don't need one, man. See that? Then that number now. You know, you're talking that funny book shit. You know. uh, Oh, I, I just mean it, it makes it easier to get around to where the crime no, is. No, 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 no. No, it does not. You know, in that city, there's probably traffic. <laughs> you know, he's Phoenix Jones, man. He got strong legs. He could probably run faster than the traffic that's out there. Huh. That's what I believe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, he doesn't have superpowers, but goddamn, he's strong and he's fast. Uh-huh. You know, cars would just slow him down. He's Phoenix Jones, Martin. <laughs> Don't need no, he don't need no Phoenix mobile. <laughs> well, shouldn't he be perched on top of a gargoyle somewhere? Martin, now you talk, now see you're talking that crazy oh, you're comic right, book you're shit. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I gotta stop doing that. Martin, no, this, Martin look at this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, this is real life. This is real life comic book hero right here. Oh, but Martin. Can't turn his neck though. Well, neither could Michael Keaton. <laughs> but he was Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing the Robocop to have the movie. Yeah, well, you, you see when they relaunched the franchise, the first thing they said was, all right, we got to fix that part. <laughs> but he did his job, though. Yeah. For a whole movie. <laughs> oh, but Martin, I guess it's true what they say. You live long enough as the hero, you see yourself <laughs> become the villain. <laughs> Very bad, I guess. <laughs> he even lived the life of, of the Dark Knight. Oh, you know, I guess, I guess he, he, look, he's strong and he's powerful, but I guess he just wasn't strong enough to resist the easy come, easy go money of crime. Mm. You know, why be a super, why be a superhero when I can be a super villain mm. and get paid? Because that's what was happening. He said, well, you know, doing this dumb shit ain't getting, it ain't, yeah, it ain't yeah, earning yeah, me yeah. no money. Yeah, exactly. I ain't getting paid for this. Yeah, there's no money in crime fighting. Yeah. Now, 
by rob a bitch. <laughs> hey, I, I, that's profit. <laughs> uh, let's read the story from Newsweek. Say Newsweek. It. Newsweek. Oh, shit. Phoenix Jones, Seattle superhero, vigilante, and MMA fighter arrested for selling MDMA and cocaine. Oh. Uh, slinging Molly. <laughs> yeah. They say crime doesn't pay, and they say being a hero doesn't either. <laughs> it pay, hey, crime pays more than what I was doing being good. <laughs> oh, oh no. Seattle, uh, a Seattle man who patrolled the city streets in a costume and described himself as a superhero has found himself on the wrong side of the law after police arrested and charged him for allegedly selling drugs. Ben Fodor, 31, was the leader of a group of costume characters known as the Rain City Superheroes under the pseudonym Phoenix Jones until the, <laughs> yes, we got to say to Phoenix Jones until the group was dissolved in 2014 because they went doing number handing out <laughs> sandwiches to the homeless. You know, this. <laughs> you know, you know, those, you, you know, those homeless people like I said a dollar, bitch. Damn, I went a long way. <laughs> I thought that was full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I turned evil, Martin. <laughs> Shit. Martin, you know what? It was my powers. <laughs> did you notice that, Martin, what I did was, did you notice my powers? Like, I actually lifted this up at first, and then you saw it, and then I picked this up and threw it. A mere empty bottle. Ah, the powers of deception, Martin. Okay, all right. <laughs> it ain't that deep. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Look out, Martin. <laughs> oh, my God. You thought you were in danger, didn't you? <laughs> Don't worry, man. I would never hurt you with this. <laughs> Unless you cross me. Oh, let me see here. Court documents reportedly indicate that a Seattle narcotics officer initiated a series of texts. Commissioner Gordon got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was a dude in a trench coat putting up the Phoenix symbol. I got to quit smoking these. <laughs> so what you got for me? <laughs> so, Phoenix, as I was... I hate it when he does that. <laughs> uh, yeah, undercover officer in November. His girlfriend, Andrea, what is this, Baretson, 26, is also alleged to have been involved in a scheme to sell cocaine to undercover agents in January. Court documents reportedly indicate that a Seattle narcotics officer initiated a series of text messages with Fodor. Damn, he even had a hero's name. I know, Fodor. <laughs> Actually, that's more like a villain's name. So you knew he's going to turn evil after a while. <laughs> In fact, when he breaks out of jail, that's he's, he's going to say, I'm not Phoenix anymore. You're I am Fodor. Fodor. <laughs> <laughs> Fodor the coked one. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Uh, they say they have... Uh, uh, Court documents reportedly indicate that a Seattle narcotics officer initiated a series of text messages with Fodor in November 2019 after having earlier been tipped off to Fodor's alleged drug dealings. The officer arranged to buy $500 worth of Molly, or MDMA, which Fodor allegedly agreed to have them met on the condition that $300 would be sent in advance to his Venmo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Let's leave a trail. Why not? Let's let's leave that big, bright electronic trail. Had for a drug transaction. Had money sent to Venmo. Negro, get a job. Just you know, this none of this is working. Right? None of this is <laughs> right, working. Right? How much money would he have made with a job? <laughs> Just stop this shit. This is this time to put this shit away. Can I be honest with you? I'm surprised it took this long. I did, now I never would have saw him dealing drugs, uh -huh. but I knew this would come to no good. I knew something would happen. Well, because actually dressing up as a superhero and going out, it's extreme behavior. And just because this ex this behavior stops, doesn't mean another one won't pick up right behind. Exactly. It's 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 listen, and, and you will not be able to put this shit on anymore <laughs> oh, unless you are committing crimes. <laughs> Or <laughs> there's a there's a birthday party circuit. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody wants a drug dealing superhero at their birthday party. I'm, I'm clean now. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give me this chance. <laughs> yeah. Now, before I get started, where do you keep your silverware? Yeah. 
Shit, that's like having an alcoholic Batman show up at your party. <laughs> Who wants a drug dealing superhero at your? A hero is supposed to be stopping that shit. Right. Hell, I'd rather have Meteor Man come up with it than this shit. <laughs> the f is going on, man? This is fascinating, though. This is fascinating. Uh, he said to have met an had to have met an agent at Starbucks coffee shop. Oh, so uh, you, Starbucks in Seattle. So you <laughs> in Seattle. So you get so you slinging at a Starbucks and getting your money over Venmo. God damn. You know the thing is, as far as I know, Seattle's not a high crime city. So he's probably <laughs> patrolling, just bored. You know what he said? He probably said, you know what? I'm just going to commit a crime and arrest myself. Right. <laughs> I'm bored. I, I got to get things shaken up in this town. And then the Phoenix can arrive. I am. But yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe he was trying to actually set up a crime and he was going to come in and save the day <laughs> right. and got busted. Hero syndrome. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's ex Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, I got this guy to, to meet me at the Starbucks. And once we do, I'm going to drop the net on him. <laughs> Hey, wait, what are y'all doing? No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to catch him. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Phoenix Jones, shit. Get, what? What did I do? No. He's getting away. <laughs> you don't understand. That's what they always say. You don't understand. They never understand. You don't get it. <laughs> He's out there. <laughs> uh, second attempt at a meeting to purchase another 500 Dollars of MDMA was made nearly a week later, but Fodor did not show up. The agent created a new persona. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess he, he, he must have smelled a rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, something about that guy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I busted a lot of criminals in my day, and he didn't feel like one. <laughs> <laughs> my oh. Phoenix senses were tingling. Yeah, you mean this run around the city dressed like an action figure? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say now if y'all can't catch him, y'all y'all that, that police department sucks. You have a super villain uh -huh. running around the city. Oh, uh, this is insane. Uh, the agent created a new persona and arranged a different drug deal on January sixth. That was not too long ago. Fodor was arrested three days later when the exchange was allegedly made with police confiscating four grams of cocaine during the transaction. Is that a lot? <clears throat> four grams? That doesn't sound like a lot. Enough to get your ass arrested. I guess. Uh, as Phoenix Jones photo urged drug dealers to refrain from their activities in Seattle and instead sell somewhere else. So they would, so he could take so they would infringe on his property, <laughs> on his turf. <laughs> That's a, that's a good scheme. <laughs> they clean out the drug dealers of the superhero. They come in. <laughs> set yourself up. <laughs> you don't want to sell drugs around here. I heard Phoenix Jones is around. <laughs> no, man. You see the Phoenix Jones. <laughs> right. no, 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 man. Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, man. This is amazing. This is amazing. You know, it's, I mean, I, I, I know there's no connection, but it's just an odd thing that, like there is a, a new kick ass series in comics where it's not the same Dave Lewinsky Lu, uh, Lu, or Le, Lewinsky. It's a it's a black woman who's mm -hmm. an Iraq war vet, and she starts a criminal empire. Like she she knocks out drug dealers and go like, all right, I'm gonna take over. I'll be a a nicer, kinder drug dealer. Yeah, maybe he was reading those comics. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <You know? laughs> maybe. Or maybe it's not even him. You know, maybe the Seattle Times just popped up on a big building like J. Jonah Jameson. Uh -huh. <laughs> Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the? <laughs> Phoenix Jones' name is Fodor. <laughs> what the? F He's dealing drugs <laughs> all around the city. <laughs> he was framed, Mark. He was framed like Peter Parker. That's what I said, man. <laughs> he was framed. He was framed, man. <laughs> One of the one of the local super villains just they they set this whole thing up. Yeah, except that they didn't arrest Phoenix Jones. <laughs> they wouldn't have to bend photo. <laughs> that is well, <laughs> he can't get out of it that way. <laughs> it's a very good scheme. No, it was framed. It was somebody else wearing my my costume. It was somebody we, wearing. We weren't arresting the costume. It was somebody wearing a Fodor mask. <laughs> right, it looked just like him. Oh, oh, yeah, it's back when he didn't take take that mask off. Back when, before he before he pulled uh, Tony Stark, uh -huh. told everybody he was 
He was saying, Phoenix Jones. People say I'm a superhero. And, <laughs> and, and, and. Yeah, if you're going to do that, you might not want to be selling drugs. <laughs> you might want to be a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. Who can't be touched. <laughs> or you might want to get a f-ing job and be normal and stop this eh, shit. What's the fun in that? Yeah, well, what's the fun in going to jail too? <laughs> Yeah, bro, this, this is, I, I would, I, you know, I don't know. Never say that. I want to see how this continues. Oh, yeah. I want to know if he really is going to turn bad now. Right. And I, re, I really want to know if he's just going to, like, be, like well, keep the outfit and become a super villain. Well, maybe prison will make him hard. I mean, when was the last time? He, I'm, I'm curious about when the last time he was spotted in the costume. Because was he still doing it or had he? Because they, they say they made him disband in 2014. Ah, uh, that's a good question. You know, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, it's not maybe he had anymore. retired. Yeah. You know, maybe he was selling drugs to actually set himself back up as Phoenix Jones. Maybe. Maybe. And, you know, I mean, he probably had some bitter years of, man, all, all I did to help this city, and now I'm broken. Nobody did anything for me. <laughs> You'll see, Seattle. <laughs> You'll all see. <laughs> baby, baby, are we going to sling this stuff or not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quit playing, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Put that comic book down and sell this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. You can't come in our comic book store anymore. Funny thing is, man, I, you know, I don't, I don't blame him. Phoenix Jones works as a hero. Oh, that's a sweet ass drug dealer's name. It is. Yeah, it, it totally is. Phoenix Jones, baby. Yeah, it sounds like a like the a, a villain from a black exploitation movie. Yeah, yeah. Phoenix Jones. This is Phoenix Jones turf. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know what's good for you, <laughs> you bitches better get back out on my corners. Everybody say he looks like Bible man. <laughs> it, it ain't that bad. <laughs> uh maybe somebody. Yeah, maybe somebody can take the mantle of Phoenix Jones if he doesn't do man, it anymore. That, that, come on, this is this is ripe for somebody to jump on and do something with to really go in depth on it. Yeah, man. Uh, this will make a great. Biopic, a mm-hmm. great documentary. Can you see this? Such a great biopic. Yeah. Especially with somebody who's willing to get artistic with it and take liberties. <laughs> you can do all kinds <laughs> of great stuff. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> they make it like Birdman or something. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking about, uh, uh, what was it, George Clooney's first movie? Confessions of a Dangerous Mind? Yeah. Somebody said Tyler Perry's Phoenix Jones. No. <laughs> no. See, okay, now you ruined it. Had something good going. Forget it. Just don't even bother. Oh. Oh. Get Boots Riley to do it. Hell yes, yeah. Yes, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guy that did, uh, what was that movie? Uh, uh, sorry to Bother Sorry you. to Bother You. He'd be great. Who said that? Golden. Golden old, old year. Life truly is stranger than fiction, man. I, I, I got to be honest, I did not see this coming.